Howdy, Carrie Hi. here. Hi, this is Kathy. We're with Wyoming Sisters, and we have a quick tip for you guys. Um, all that you're going to need for this project is some sort of mold, some baby powder, a paintbrush, and some sort of clay. It can be sculpty, it can be air dry clay, it can be whatever. But um, Kathy and I were wandering through Joanne's. Shocking, right? Oh, yes. And what did we find? <laughs> we, um, we were discussing that we really like the little skeleton bones on our scrapbooking or crafts because my kids have used these for numerous things. They like to play with them. And um, we found this wonderful candy mold. I yes. Don't know if y'all can see it. It's a, a candy mold because we were looking, they had a lot of really beautiful embellishments and charms, but they were really pricey. Yes. So way this is, more than I This is a spend. way to make for the price of, of one of those embellishments, you can well, make... Even, I think, don't we get this for, like... I used a coupon. Two dollars. Yeah, I used a coupon. So, yeah. um, that made it more affordable. And then um, we had some Sculpty clay, and she has some air dry clay that she's going to demonstrate today. These are made... You use just white Sculpty? Yeah, I did with these. And with Sculpty, you bake them. And... So, Kathy um, baked them, and then you... The clay was kind of thick... Yep, so we we cut a little bit of the back of their heads off. off that sounds of their hard. Heads. Yes. Off of their heads. It sounds horrible. And but you yes. even poked holes in them so some of them are beads. I think that is very clever. So you're able to make a lot of them. When they come out they kinda look like this. Yeah. Um and what you can do is then go in with some black paint and kinda give them a distressed look and you can even sand it. So we're going to show you real quick how you would um, use a mold. Um, these, to give you another idea, if you don't have candy molds, these are just uh, ice cube trays from the oh, dollar wow. store. Let's see. And um, sometimes you can um, keep your eye out for candy molds. Um, and then they have uh, fondant molds. Oh, yeah. So any kind of mold will work. And, and what walk us through the process, process, Kathy, of what you would do to get your mold ready. Okay, so we are going to do the head today, the <laughs> skeleton head. So we're going to use just regular baby powder that you can get anywhere. You know, dollar store has little containers of it. And what you're going to do is just going to sprinkle a little in your candy mold or your ice cube tray or whatever you choose to use. I usually take the, ex the excess off. <laughs> And then... Why do you coat it with baby powder? Otherwise, you're going to have a sticky mess. <laughs> <laughs> so I, the baby powder acts as a release. Yep, and it works great, and it smells great. It smells great. It's cheap. It's something you probably already have in your house. Yeah, so just... This is air-dry clay, like we said, and we just worked it a little bit. I mean, it's... And then you just press it in there. And I like to try to keep the um, sides as clean as possible because, but you can clean them off. It's just you can after you it. either bake them or or let it air dry, you know, got to try to get that off. So, um, and also it gives it a really clean look too. So we pushed it around. You know what too would be fun is to make them look like these white ones. They could even be like sugar s skulls for Day of the Dead. Just oh, depending yeah. on how you paint them. True. That'd be awesome. Right. So then it's going to look like this on the other side. Pretty good. Now with, <laughs> I'm not going to guarantee this, but with the baby powder, it should, I've tapped it. Uh, it's not going to. So I just put a little, sometimes you can just pop it right up. <laughs> look, it won't pop out now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think the air dry clay has dried a little in the air. Yeah, I think you had it. I don't want to break the mold though, because that's the only bad thing about candy molds is that um, they tend to be a little more fragile because they're the hard plastic. plastic. You know, and what's cool about that is that air dry clay. It, this is a little dried up because this air dry clay is like yeah hard two years, two two and a half years old. So yeah, because I got it when Cody was over, and um, but the nice thing is because it is kind of dried out. There are a lot of wrinkles and cracks. And you want the but cracks. But that's actually kind of perfect. <laughs> yeah, it gives it some real good spooky character, old skull look. So depending on what kind of um, clay or medium you, you would use, you would either let it air dry or you would bake it in the oven per the instructions. 
Yeah, and then like I know you've all seen me do this where I make a yo-yo, a and then yeah, you can put that one on. That'll look just and then perfect. They, yeah, they're just a really that's a really cute embellishment that you can make with things you might already have at home. Yeah, because those buttons that I was buying were Ooh. really expensive yeah. to put into these. Things have gotten pricey dicey, but that's okay. It just makes you be more creative, I guess. Yeah. So. Thank you so much, Kathy. This was yes. such a neat idea. I really appreciate you walking us through how you can make your own embellishment um, and get more embellishments for the same price you would pay for one at the store. Thanks for showing us how to do that. Yeah. You're awesome. Thank you. You are too. <laughs> Signing off from the Wild West. Bye. <laughs>